Hey, welcome back, everyone. I am Matt Larson, and in a 5-4 to four decision today, the Supreme Court ruled that American citizens cannot challenge wiretapping laws such as the FISA Act. Now, if you're not aware, FISA stands for Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Uh, the first one was from 1978, but more recently we had a FISA Amendments Act of 2008. Uh, this is not a good thing. As you can tell by the name of it, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. They started this out back in 1978, and they really started talking about how we don't want to have spies in America, and we need to be able to surveil the spies and try to uh, wiretap them. And, you know, it's only going to be used on the spies from Russia and other countries like that, from the communist countries. Well, just as everything starts out, uh, the Constitution is for people not for American citizens. It's for the people in America. Well, unfortunately for the American government, they needed to create the FISA Act, and that's what they did. And they've expanded it in 2008 to a much larger dragnet-style surveillance st system, basically, on the American people. And that's what was becoming under scrutiny. And the government basically just ruled today, the Supreme Court ruled today, that you know what, you don't have a Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment is basically dead because they can wiretap you, they can listen to full conversations, they can have uh, complete scripts of just everything you've talked about on the phone. Uh, in the beginning, it talked about how, well, we need to just wiretap the foreigners that are over here. But if you look at most of the, the phone calls that the foreigners are making, it's to American citizens. So, in essence, the American citizens are losing their Fourth Amendment there, and now it's just completely blown up in proportions to just everyone, basically, using cell phones, email, anything out there, you guys, even your TVs, uh, admitted by Verizon now and other companies, they want to be able to record information from you, listen to your conversations, and use them for ad revenue and other stuff like that. This stuff is very, very 1984-like. And it's happening today. So I'm going to put links down below to everything that I've talked about. My question to you today is, is this ruling, the 5-4 to four ruling that the Supreme Court made, a surprise to you? To me, it's not. Uh, I think that we need to come up with some ideas that we can combat against this. And when I say combat, I don't actually talk about like going hand-to-hand -hand fighting. I'm talking about ways that we can communicate, that we can beat the system. So if you have a great idea, leave your answer down below in a text or video response. But for now, I ask that you guys please just thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. If you're new to my videos, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the current political news. As always, I'm Matt Larson. Go run, Paul. Peace.